Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Psalm 145 verse 8 But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Psalm 86 verse 15 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 verse 6 Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4 verse 16 The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. Psalm 116 verse 5 My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 The Lord is good to all, he has compassion on all he has made. Psalm 145 verse 9 To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Daniel 9 verse 9 Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Colossians 4 verse 6 The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1 verse 14 Who is a God like you, who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of His inheritance? You do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. Micah 7 verse 18 For the Lord your God is gracious and compassionate. He will not turn his face from you if you return to him. 2 Chronicles 30 verse 9 But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 5 May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5 The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 1 verse 14 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 he has saved us and called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. 2 Timothy 1 verse 9 The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. Psalm 103 verse 8 
May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us, yes. Establish the work of our hands. Psalm 90 verse 17 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Psalm 145 verse 8 Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Psalm 90 verse 17 But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Psalm 86 verse 15 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9